Hello everybody. We drove all the way from St. Louis to this place right here, Bankston's Farm. Okay? And we just met with the owner and we had a, like a great chat with them. This whole place has essentially been built since 2017. Well, not this top part, he said, just the going down the hill. Yeah. And this place is absolutely crazy and we're going to walk around and check it out. Now, why are we we we're here for multiple reasons? Uh, we love to build a farm in St. Louis um, and so we came up here because we were told like this is one of the craziest um, family farm entertainment agritainment places in the entire United States so you can see he's doing some video mapping there look at that. oh my gosh look at this Patty <laughs> now, they also do something really unique here. This reminds me of like going to like Disney World. Reminds me of like being in a, a Disney World attraction. And look at here. They're using some CGI effects. He's got animated animals. And that was the farm attraction. Now, there is a whole bunch of attractions here. And it's cold and it's kind of raining. And this is their last day. And we're going to try to check out as many as we can. And of course they have kettle corn and donut. And, and they built a complete dark ride here as well. Now, look at this. They've got a haunted barn. Now, you know, look at the, the, look at the food stands. Like everything is done like completely first class. And we're going to go into the haunted barn. Now, Patty is afraid of anything haunted. <laughs> So I'm a little worried. Whatever. And there's a sign. And here's the haunted barn. Let's check it out. Look, we're on camera. <laughs> That's so funny. You know, this would be the... This would be the perfect attraction to make it in 3D. the chicken wire in front of the scenes because they've got so many people coming to this thing look at that a little CGI in the window look at the dishes Look at that. The little forced perspective there. With the ghosts in the background. That's really cool. Okay. People are dying to get in, it says. Oh, what is in there? One last little scene that has like uh, basically the creature in Black Lagoon of some kind in there. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. He's, he's, he's sleeping in there. Uh, now, you know, it is very windy and I am trying to keep the wind off of the microphone. It's very windy. Don't know if it's going to work. Look at this. It says, died from not forwarding that text message to 10 people. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. And look at this, a cathedral store. Cathedral? That's a general store. <laughs> oh wait, general store, my bad. I wasn't looking. You wanna go look? You're asking me if I want a shot? Oh yeah. We're just look at the and it's heated too. Very cute little store. And look at the bins for the stuffed animals. Yeah. And of course, you'll notice that everything they have here, um, they're focusing on kids because this is a great place to bring kids. Look at the floors, are very authentic. All right, so we're going to see. How much of this place we can explore? Now look at this over here. I don't know what that is exactly, but this place, these guys <laughs> Look at Thank that. You. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Haunted Hoop Man here at Banks and Funky Farm. We have a see through band. I hope you can see right through us. <laughs> the regular band couldn't make it, so they dug us up in the last minute. <laughs> yeah, it was a matter of grave urgency. <laughs> How y'all doing today? <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's so funny. You ready? Now, what in the world is this? It says tunnel with a twist. And look, they've got goats, cute little walkways. It says vortex straw tunnel with a twist. With a twist? It's not on. Yeah, it's not on. It's not on, they said. It's not on. Not on, they said. We want to see what it is all the same. What's the twist? I don't know what the twist is. But it is a vortex tunnel that is not working. It's just a, a tunnel you walk through. And then look over here. They've got rides. And look at this. Everything is themed everywhere you go, everywhere you turn. And look at this. You know what this is over here, Patty? There's another animation that they've made. Look at that. See the pumpkin up there? Look at that. Hello down there. Look, when you get there, you start hey, talking. Would you give me a funnel cake? I'm kind of stuck up here. It must be nice to have arms and legs. I would love to go and jump on that trampoline with those goats. And I could go visit some of my relatives. And then we're going to try to explore the whole place, okay? Now, I think, and look at that. It says churros, funnel cakes, bites, and fries. Now they claim, and I believe them, that they do over 200,000 people and they do somewhere between three and 5,000 people a day. And let's go check this out, Patty, because they got a sign right here. And for those of you out there, you can freeze on this. And it shows they have 50 different things going on out here. And here's where we're at, because you can see the witch right there. So they have a hayride. 
they've got all these rides over here, a pumpkin patch. This is a, a dark ride that they've built here. Let's see what number 31 is. It's the corn box. That's where you go in there and then the kids can play in the corn. And let's see, what does 22 say? Children's Village, right here. And you know what this is, right here? It's right over here, Patty. Look at this. An interactive shooting uh, gallery, a shooting gallery. And then you know what this is over here, Patty? That's where the pig races are. And they have pumpkins everywhere, folks. And do you see the tractor over there? That's one of their famous animations that they build. And look at this. Presenting Moulin Rouge can-can chicken on a hot tin roof. Look at this. Now you've seen everything, right? Yeah. Whoa, excuse me. And look at this. Turkey dinner is around the corner. And that is one big turkey. And then you could read about turkeys. It says Benjamin Franklin wanted national bird to be a turkey rather than a bald eagle. Amazing. Look at that turkey. Look, he's walking over here. And then you see that um, tractor over there. You crank it, and then it'll kind of. Yeah, go ahead and give it a crank. Yeah, give it a crank. Thank you. Look at the top, the fog comes out. Look at the little kid over there. Isn't that cute? He's driving the tractor. That's so awesome. I wish we had one like this to bring our kids to. Now this, look at this. Full sound systems and everything pig is races. for pig races. And look at the barrels. That's a really ingenious idea there. And the barrels hold up the speakers. And there's the pig races. Now they're supposed to have pig races every hour on the hour. And yes, they have donkeys. Sometimes referred to as a patty. What? I said yes, they have donkeys, sometimes referred to as a patty. I was joking. What do you think about the pig races? I want to see the pig races. I think the pigs are down for the day. And this says free photo op over here. Here's a pit stop, another spot. You got kids on rides. And they said they've really been focusing on rides. Now there's a line to get into this sucker. Yeah. It's free photo ops. So look, you, you can see them in there pressing buttons. You just stand in front of something and then I guess it takes your photo and you can get it, text it to you. We'll keep moving. Because we're trying to cover the whole place in a short period of time. Now there's some uh, fun stuff over here. And we want to ride their dark ride. That's what we want to do. And you know, uh, a lot of the farms Patty, that we've been to take tractor parts and make benches like this one. And then there's a spot to wash your hands. Lots of porta potties and look at this really cute walk around for the pig stadium. And you got this little cute house over here. I'm assuming it has more animations. Look over here, Patty. You got a tractor up there singing. If you can see that. Little haunted mansion. Little house on the scary, Larry. Little house on the scary. That is. That is just cute as can be. And there's a guillotine. Patty, have you ever considered uh, buying one of those for me? And using it? 
Huh? I played the fifth. She plays the fifth. Excuse me. <laughs> well, then, what do we got in here? We have a fire station. Photo ops. Little buildings for kids to play. And look, it's got a fire pole in it. And look, you just got kids in here playing. A little school. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Now you might be wondering how they have a lot of workers. They've got a whole bunch of RVs down there. I'm sure people are like just sleeping here. Now what is this? This would be like a mining station. So that's another thing they have where you can mine for gold. And uh, I'm guessing very rarely do you find any gold. And what is this? Oh, look, another shooting gallery. Shooting gallery. Let's go check this out. This place is absolutely massive. Now look at this. That, if that isn't a Beverly Hillbillies house right there, I don't know what is. That is just, <laughs> that's crazy right there. And look, the back porch is with trees and it's on a truck. That's cute, isn't it? And there, look at this. Penny, they have a train. Let's go see the train. And then they've got a, uh, two more rides over here. One where you ride some frogs and another one where you, you become a bee. And I don't know what that is, but it's like oranges. And look, here's the train. And there it pulls into the station. Flying frogs and honey pots. And let's go see what what are these oranges? Oh no, those aren't oranges, those are pumpkin gourds. And there's bags. Look at that. One dollar each for mini pumpkins. And then you have gourds on the other side. What do you think of this place here, Patty? Yeah, it's cool. Way cool. And then there's a pumpkin stack, another place to eat. And they have the most clever benches. And they've got multiples of them. And you'll notice there's pumpkins everywhere. Oh, look, here's another set. Look, it's another skeleton. Are you exiting already? No. Exit and pumpkin sales. So when you exit, you can go right there. And, oh, you know what this is over here, Patty, I think. At least I think. Oh no, so you don't go this way? No, no, it's right through there. Oh, that's the exit, yeah. okay. So look at this, Patty, this is really clever too. You can walk all the way around and it's really just eight by eights holding in a bunch of pumpkins. Look at that, Scully's Garage. Hello, We're Sorry. fixing to mend your truck or die trying. Let me, let me tell you, these size pumpkins, maybe even a little bit smaller, are the best size to cook with. These are too small, not the perfect size. 
So look, the train's about to pull out of the but station. If they're too big, you can't go with them either. It's got to be like this perfect medium size. All right, we're trying to cover. Is it called Bankston's? Yes. Okay, you mean I got that right? I think so. Look at that sign right there where it says first aid. It says information. Information. You see it? That's cute. Yeah, I know. Information. And they have like ointments. That is very cute. There's some tractors. And I just don't understand how in the hell they built this place. Be sure to visit Tractor Town for more tractor fun. Wait a minute, we already went through there. We gotta go this way. Uh, and you know what's really cool too is they got these pink porta potties. And they have food trucks virtually everywhere. This place is off the chain, I'm just gonna tell you. And here we come up on another animatronic. <laughs> Did you see the singing trucks? And then here's another animated one that you crank on. Oh look, Patty, there's a, another animation over here of a skeleton doing, uh, let's see what he says. I have no body to ride with. Mate, go right here. I really like the cow coast, but if I'm gonna be honest, I think it could have used a little more cow. <laughs> He's trying to sound like Christopher Walken. Hey, that was kind of uh, inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you say so. He's sitting on the fire. Yep. What is up there? Did we miss that up there? I know. That's all I. No, I think we did see that. All right, so now we're going down into another section. One of the things you'll notice everywhere is they have food. Food everywhere. The Donut Shack. Everywhere you look, there's food. And there's Uncle Rub's, another food option. And two more food options there. One is just coffee, and the other one is lemonade and cider. And then you'll notice over there, they have pavilions. Which I'm assuming, free hay rides run continuously every 15 minutes. Okay, so that's where you board the hay ride. I don't know what you do on the hay ride. But they have like a playground over here. They got a pond on the other side. Let's go ride the dark ride, Patty. So what do you think of this place? I like it. I just can't believe they built it in 2000 since 2017. Okay, this looks like it's been getting built for decades. And then there's barbecue. The food they have here, I mean, it's just off the chain. And I just, oh, then there, look, there's a taco stand. Anna's Tacos. And then up there, they have another pavilion where you can eat your food and they have a band playing. And you know what this is right here? Oh, look at the pumpkin photo ops. And another playground. And then they have their own roller coaster, folks. And they built... And they're probably not running their roller coaster at the moment because of uh, rain. These roller coasters right here Oh wait, looks like he's standing there, so you could ride it if you want. There's just nobody going to ride it. The Barnyard Dance is the roller coaster. Then what is this? Let's go check this out. Yeah, check out Jimmy Crack Corn. No, I don't care. Oh, I love these. Look at this. Look at this. 
And parents are even in there too. This is a corn barn. So you jump in here and you sink in corn. You gonna jump in there? No, thank you. No, thank you. But you know, that would be a heck of a great time. So this video, we're trying to give you a really good snapshot of what it would be like to come here. A lot of other people who would make a video would literally be editing it and they would be showing you the highlights. Uh, most of the videos that we do are point of view, okay? You're getting a point of view video. And you can see kind of like what's on their hayride. You see a bunch of broken tractors over there. <laughs> well, you know, just decor. And this was their pumpkin patch. So you go in there and you pick out a pumpkin and guess what? All the pumpkins have been picked. <laughs> and I'll bet you any amount of money that tent over there is to carve them. And look at that, there's rabbits, or no, roosters in there. That is very creative, isn't it? That truck. That's crazy. Wow. And it holds the chickens, roosters, whatever they are. And this is the Rock and Rabbit Rooster Rodeo. Look at that. Now they have one of these in. They install one of these in like Branson. Look at this. I mean, when you talk about doing it all out, they're doing it all out. See, and look at that. You ride the, you ride them all the way through the park. And then they've got displays all over. Like that bin over there is full of rabbits. And they have one of these in Silver Dollar City, I think. You wrote it. Yes, I did. I wrote it. And I think I raced you and I won. No, I didn't ride it. I think you I think you raced uh, Noah. But I think the first person that gets on wins. <laughs> no, it's two hours faster. To get on the first Wasn't one. Wasn't Noah with us at that point or no? What is this? Let's go look. It says barrel blast. We gotta see what this is. Okay, another ride. You're just in barrels and they spin around. And then they have this ride over here. The barn stormer. The barn stormer. And you can see that is very themed with those uh, World War I era airplanes. Very themed, very themed. You might be asking yourself, what does all this stuff cost? That's a good question. That roller coaster we saw is probably around 600,000. And they probably spent another six hundred thousand building, um, maybe two hundred fifty, maybe three hundred. They probably have over a million. Let's just say it's over a million for that little roller coaster, considering they're building these like really incredible buildings. That ride there definitely is probably a million dollars, or slightly under. But then by the time you get the deck, the the you know all the infrastructure in, the electric in. I mean, you're definitely over a million dollars. It looks like every time these guys put in something new, they're spending like a million bucks. And we have yet to find... Patty, do you want to ride the Rock and Rabbit Roller ro Rooster Rodeo? Well, it's two different ones. You want the Rock and Rabbits or the Rooster Rodeo? Yeah, you got roosters on this side. Hey, you know what? I didn't even notice that. Patty noticed it. See, they're riding roosters. What? They got the Annie Ann's uh, food truck. When you're that big, you can have everything. So that's right. There, there's two sides to this thing. And look how beautiful that is. They've got professional people designing and building this stuff. And then, so you got a rooster side and a rabbit side. I didn't even notice that. Patty was able to catch that. Good job, Patty. And this is where you pick your pumpkin. No problem, Captain Obvious. Just call me Captain Obvious. I didn't catch that. So we're looking for the dark ride. 
they have a dark ride that they literally built themselves. Let's go up to the top. It has to be up here. But this place is, uh, we went to another farm and we did a video, right? And that was called Lewis Farm. We did, we've done several farm videos. But Lewis Farm was, that was off the chain, right? That was big like this one, yeah. This one is probably, I mean, they're totally different. Yeah, I mean, this one has rides. Lewis does not have rides, to my knowledge. That a little water park. But like, yeah, their water park was really, really cool. It wouldn't be great this time of year. They had better animals. They had tons of animals. It was almost like a, a farm, an agritainment a petting, petting. It was almost like a zoo. zoo. Yeah. I think they build it as such. I think they're called Lewis Farm and Zoo. And this is the dark ride right here, folks. We found it! And if we have enough battery power, which we might, we'll go jump on that hay ride. Look at this. Tractor town. Now, what does that remind you of? Cars, probably. Look at this queue line. This is crazy. Uh, it looks like they have pre-show type of entertainment that's currently not operating. Alright, Patty, what is your takeaway of this place? I really like it. I can't wait for this. You Look can't at wait? Them. Show the people the tractors, the rides. Will you sit up front and drive? Because I don't want to drive and like look at my phone at the same time. What do you think? Will you drive the tractor? I'll think about it. And here comes another tractor. Look at this place. My goodness. Who knows how much they spent on this? When you're doing 200,000 people plus, you can afford to do good things. And obviously the, this family farm right here is putting every cent they make back in it, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Holy cow. Um, now the owner said that they're trying to buy the farm next door. I would only imagine that's to greatly expand what they want to do. And he said they want to get into more rides. So, this is literally becoming like a theme park. Yes. All right, so we're getting closer to getting on our tractor. That one won't be ours. Ours is coming around the corner there. And then we got the American flag. And today is their last day, Patty. They literally close in three hours. I hope our tractor doesn't run out of gas. That would be a bummer. You know they run out of gas on the last night. So we will be riding the blue tractor. And there's, that's Missouri. Yep. It's like Kansas. Washington. Can't tell what that is. If you're from there, you would know. That's really cool. We got a blue one. Yeah, we get a blue one. Very warm over here. <laughs> All right. So Patty, are you gonna get up there and drive, Patty? I believe that's where the kids go. All right, so here we go. We're on the dark ride. And ours is driverless, so we might wreck. Are you excited? There could be ghosts driving it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Watch show the pigs. And you know, when, whenever you're doing stuff like this, a lot of theming is easy to acquire when you're doing farm themes. 
So you got all this old farm equipment, an old combine. Uh, makes for easy. Hey. <laughs> some hay, some corn, and that's real corn that they've obviously Sunflowers. planted. Sunflowers. They've had to build some retainer walls. And look also how they've stamped into the concrete. They stamped in uh, tractor tires. So they did that when the concrete was drying. Very cute. It's very much like Radiator Springs ride at Disney, mixed with farm animals. Nice to see you. My name is Russ T. Schiller. Back in my day, I helped the farmers shell corn out on the field. I pulled all the kernels off the cob mechanically. It was a big help for the farmer. Well, that's that is a why when I heard the mention machine. farm had the largest corn box, I knew I had to retire here and that's go an shell all the corn machine. to those little whippers now. This is like way beyond a farm. It's like every year they're just going way over the top. And there you have it. It looks like he even collects, like he must have ads out there saying, if anybody has old tractors, call me, I'll come get them. And a lot of these animated uh, uh, tractors and whatnot, they sell them to other farms. Were you aware of that? <laughs> now you guys are probably wondering how we were able to drive our tractor without actually steering it. Uh, it's courteous of Elon Musk. This is a self-driving tractor, powered by Tesla. This is a Tesla tractor. We fooled you when we said we needed to drive. What did you think of the 
of that experience. I loved it. Do you want to go ride their hayride? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Where was the hayride? Uh, down and around me. Down and around? So, we wanted to come do this video for a good reason. And the reason was because we would love to do a farm. And so, the best place to start is go to a farm where it's completely unrealistic to copy. Uh, not well, I mean, maybe if you have $50 million, you probably could copy this very easily. Um, but it's best to come to a place, look at that, even the, uh, the landscaping right there is beautiful. Like everything about it is just magnificent. And whenever you're doing your research, you should go to the best places, period. End of story. Where do you board the hayride? Is it over there? Is that the board, boarding for the hayride? No, that's for the, uh, the rock and rooster and rabbit. Look at this. We're getting assaulted by birds. They're, they might be dropping bombs on us at any minute. But it makes the most sense to go see the best places um, because you know that they've been doing it a long time and they've got it figured out and you can kind of see what the ultimate goal would be if you live to be 500 years old. You could accomplish this <laughs> because this place is off the chain, it's off the hook. And there's their roller coaster. It appears that it's closed. But it's a fun little roller coaster. Now I think it's cool the way they make it go back into the barn. But you know, he, he could realistically have a million dollars into that all in. And then there's the band singing again. There is a lot of farms, because we visited them. Is that a playground back there? Yeah, it's a little playground. There's a lot of farms and we visited them that uh, all, a lot of them have the same attractions. A bounce bubble, right? Uh, you know, that pad you jump on, a playground. Uh, they all have a lot of the similar type of features. And then you have a place like this that just goes way over the top, way beyond the pale. Yes. And if you're going to do something, you want to do it right. You want to do it at the highest level you possibly can. And that's why we're here. We're here to see some of the biggest and the best. Now, we were also told that there's an even bigger one in Nebraska. So there's no hayride there at the moment. See the, the animals, Larry. So we're oh, gonna like see the hayride. animals. So there's one in Nebraska that's supposedly off the Richter scale. Crazy. And, and look, you can for five bucks you can buy and feed the goats. Oh my god, no. You got goats, and it smells uh, nice in here, like it's clean daily. Now I'm imagining that when the season's over, they take this tent down right here. And they, and this is a temporary pin. Look at them. <laughs> Little goats. Oh, they, they all want to be petted. They get petted all day long. You gonna pet one? Come on, Patty, don't be a Grinch. Give him a pet. Let's go to the other building. Oh. 
Well, let's go over here to this building and see what else is over here. So yet, they have yet another building right back here. Holy cow, look at this. More animals to pet. And this here, oh my God, look at that thing. It's a, a little midget cow. And here's a little thing for 25 cents. And they got little signs on the back that tell you what kind of animal it is. Black belly. Now we want to let all of our viewers know that we came all the way up here to check this out and to just give you a point of view take on what it would what it's like and what is being offered here at this farm. And I can tell you there is no haunted house in the country doing the kind of business that this place is doing and it shows you that that there is a lot more people that want to celebrate fall festivals without something really scary they want Halloween they want spooky they don't want scary and it is insane Look at this. You can see these buildings are done right. They have sprinkler systems. It's all out, done 100% the right way. My goodness, totally off the Richter scale. And every bench, every place where you can sit down is done, themed, like an old tractor wheel. Man, I wonder, like, is there some store you go to that just has all these laying around? You know, I guarantee you there's a whole lot of picking that goes on to do something this incredibly crazy and well themed wow now if you haven't seen our video on lewis farm you should go check that out it's on our hot world channel it's called the it's called lewis farm it's themed about as good as this one but totally different it's more of uh more based around animals uh but they have a big giant corn maze as well. Okay, you're evil. And so, the other attraction they have here is a hayride. Now, yeah, but we'll make a separate video. We'll make a part two video that shows you the hayride. Because we don't want to bore you standing around forever waiting for the hayride to show up. But the one takeaway that I want to throw out there to everybody is that Halloween is being celebrated on, it's a billion dollar plus deal, okay? I'm talking about for attractions. And these types of attractions right here are doing big business when you do them right. And that's the key, when you do them right. Wow, this place is off the Richter scale. Something to think about 
when you decide to do your screen park, is it possible to do a daytime event attached with it? And that's one of the main reasons why we're here. So thanks for watching the video. Patty, do you have any comments on this place? What? What would you rather have, a screen park or a farm like this? But I feel like this would wrap its arms around more of the population. Yeah, and you could do a haunted house on top of it. And there's our tractor. So we're going to get on it. That's a big tractor. Right, it's a big tractor. All right, folks. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you got something out of us walking around and exploring. Um, and you have to come see this place. It's in, it's near, uh, it's actually near Hell's Gate Haunted House. And uh, right here in the Chicago land area. So until then, stay tuned for part two. We're going to do a video of nothing but the hayride. Say goodbye, Penny. Goodbye, Penny. Happy Halloween. Well, Halloween's over. What am I saying? Next year. Next year. We can still say happy Halloween. Oh, we can still say happy Halloween. All right. The hayride's coming. We're going to make a separate video of nothing but the hayride.